So here's a quick video on how to edit um, the contents of the visual builder from the back end. So you can see there, this is an accordion control that has a bunch of cool text in it. So I've gone ahead and hit edit page and I'm here in the editor. And um, so a little quick behind the scenes. Um, this is the header. This first section here represents this words from the community and the the breadcrumbs, that's the monkey breadcrumbs there. And then there's a little space, which is where we have the picture. And then there's the accordion. And the accordion has, each section of the accordion has a title, and then you can see those here. So if you needed to edit a title, you click that section open, and next to section, click the little pencil, and you can edit the text here and have it say anything you want. And then you'd hit Save Changes. I'm going to hit Close so it doesn't save those. And then here we have the text of the quote. And you can, again, you see text block, green. And um, you can hit the little pencil. And it'll bring up the standard WordPress editor. Um, I'm going to move the page a little bit so we can get a little more of the editor. There we go. All right, um, and so you can see um, visual, uh, which is how most people like to edit, even me. Or you can see text, uh, which is the HTML behind the page. Unless you're strong of spirit, I don't recommend looking in the text part. But you can see it's just pretty basic text. Um, if you want to be fancy, um, you can just uh, you can just paste in the quote and then um, the name and the f and where they are and make it italic with the italic button and that's all she wrote and then once you're done you hit save changes again I'm gonna hit close and I'm gonna scrunch this back up all right and then when you're all done you hit the big red update button which will go and update the page um, yeah. While we're here, there's one little extra f bonus feature here. Now, if you scroll down on the right, you see Featured Image, and you see it's got the same seashells as are in the background of this page. Those don't have anything to do with each other. The seashells are actually here on this empty space. Um, you can see under Background, I selected the seashell image, and I told it um, cover the full background, which is how you do that. Um, the Featured Image is what will show up, for example, in those grids on the sub home pages or um, in a slider. If we showed this page, it would pull the featured image for the slider. So you want to um, make sure that this image either syncs with the image that we're using for the background of the page or in some way, some way represents the page. Um, and you can do that by, you can say remove featured image or you can click on the image and it'll ask you for uh, a new image or uh, if there isn't one, it'll say set featured image. Um, or it'll just pull up your media library, and you can pick from here. Alrighty, hope that was useful.